Hi there, this is Jag, uh, your Office 365 uh, guy. I make Office 365 daily vlogs on and publish them here on LinkedIn and also uh, on YouTube as well. Yesterday we spoke about um, my top five features, uh, predictions for Office 365 in 2019 and one of them being consolidation of search experiences in, in Office 365. So, um, at the moment, there are like, you know, user experience, like when people want to search for something in Office 365 is, is, is different from app to app and there's various different types of searches that are available in, in, in the platform. So let's look at some of these uh, current search experiences in this video. So we have Office 365 search. So one of the experiences we have in uh, in Office 365 currently is uh, is let's say let's call it personalized search. Personalized search. Uh, personalized search is 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 provided uh, through apps like uh, Delve, Office 365 Home. and SharePoint Home as well. So what do you, what do you mean? Uh, what, what, what I mean by personalized search is, is, is more around, you know, uh, finding information that are relevant to, uh, to my, you know, to the, per, to the person who is searching. So this could be files, the sites that they follow, uh, the files he's been, he's been working on or the people who are actually connected uh, to, to, to the to the user so the personalized search experience is driven by uh, something called Microsoft graph yeah so these are driven by my MS graph so uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the personalized search we'll also cover Microsoft I uh, Microsoft search and each of these different applications in a bit more detail in the subsequent videos the next search experience that we have is uh, let's let's call it social search and social search as as the name implies is is available through yammer so with the, in in yammer you essentially search for social conversations you know the the, the uh, you search within the groups or the all company feed um, you, you search across various posts or the files that are stored inside of that Yammer. So that's social search. Then we also have uh, something like something called enterprise search. So enterprise search is your traditional SharePoint search center. So uh, this is a, a, this is more custom, a customized search with refiners and and whatnot, um, which is which is customized to the needs of the organization. So it it, it contains uh, custom metadata refiners and also the search result pages uh, and and the search results itself can be actually customized to uh, make them look and feel uh, to the, the to the requirements of the company. So this is this is purely driven within the search uh, with sorry within the SharePoint interface. So. So then we also have, uh, apart from the enterprise search, the personal search, and, and the social search, we also have something called contextual search. Contextual search, but contextual, uh, I mean, searching within the context of a certain app. Um, this being, for example, SharePoint. So SharePoint, for example, you know, you search within a site. So find me all the content within that particular site, um, a team site or a, or a, or a group site. Um, or it could be, uh, you know, a list or a library. So uh, you say find, find the content within, within, the, um, within the list or within the library. Uh, contextual search, you can categorize this few more contextual, uh, contextual searches like uh, say Outlook. 
So you say you find messages, uh, the emails within Outlook. You go into Outlook.com, log in with your Office 365 and, and search for that. Or you could search from your Outlook client as well. Um, what else? Um, we also have, you know, search within the, uh, the planner itself. Or we have search within Teams. So essentially, you, you you go and search within the actual user interface of this uh, of the Teams, and then it just brings up all the conversations uh, and files and, and and the tabs that are available within the Teams configuration. So these these are are, are your general uh, search experiences that are available for a user. There's one more uh, search experience called eDiscovery. So eDiscovery is more for data compliance purpose or legal holes and things like that, where you could actually search across all the workloads, all the services or all the apps uh, within Office 365 platform and get to, inf get to the information from there. But this is only more for uh, data compliance requirements and it's only available for a certain number of users and it's not, it's not meant for general e usage. There you go. These are the different search experiences that are available in Office 365 as of today. So uh, yesterday I was alluding to the fact that, you know, we need some sort of uh, consolidation around this search experience because, you know, as you can see, you know, users have to go to different apps to find different types of content. So that's, that's, that's where I mean by consolidating some of these experiences into a unified search experience. Um, so tomorrow we'll actually go and, and, uh, and see, uh, I'll, I'll jump on a computer and, and actually see uh, the actual user experience for each of these uh, applications uh, in a bit more detail. Thanks and keep watching my videos on LinkedIn and if you uh, uh, please do provide your feedback or if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below as well and I appreciate it. Thanks and I'll see you tomorrow.